My name is Sarah Anderson. I'm 30 years old and I'm from El Sabrani, California. I grew up on a ranch. I probably started riding before I could even walk. So my whole life has really revolved around that, showing horses, doing rodeo in high school and college. So definitely been a huge part of my background. My injury occurred on June 30th of 2003. Myself and uh, one of my friends were struck by a drunk driver. I don't really remember any of the details um, of actually of it happening. I just, the next thing I remember is just waking up in the hospital and that's when I found out that I you know, had a spinal cord injury. Coming to terms with my accident was something that, it, it took a while, it was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with and definitely the darkest and lowest point of my my life. After a few months and realizing, you know, I could live an independent life, I could live by myself, get dressed, drive, all these possibilities, that's when um, I really started to come to terms with it and I realized that it was something, you know, it's not that bad. The first time I walked in the exoskeleton was in March of 2011. It definitely was like being blind and being able to see again. Um, I saw the world from a whole different perspective. Right now I'm three foot tall, so to be able to stand up and see the world again, at, you know, at six foot tall, I, I felt I felt whole again. You know, I was eye level with everybody, experiencing things the same level that I had before. Every time I go in to use the device, it's it's always amazing. It never loses any of its excitement to me. Every time I get to stand up and walk, I mean, that's like a gift. I decided to go back to graduate school to work towards my MBA. It was a pretty nerve-wracking experience. It was my first time actually going back to school in a wheelchair. After my accident, I realized that if there was things that I wanted to do, I wasn't going to put them on hold because who knows what you know, tomorrow can bring. I would say that I'm definitely a different person after my accident. Before my accident, um, I would have to say my priorities were me, 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 and me again. After my accident, I, I realized that there's so many other things that make my life fulfilling. The importance of, you know, family, friends. If I had to do it all over again, I don't think I would give up my accident because I look back at the person before and I'm not so proud of that person. But the one I am today, definitely proud of.